I mean, this is a pair that I won on retail last year and I didn't think I would because the Action Bronson collabs tend to sort of not be, uh, well, not that many of them are made. And I, I think also it was one of those sort of understated collabs that kind of came out and not not everyone was aware of. And I think even now it's like the, the resale prices aren't that bad on these. And it's the Action Bron Bronson Lapis Lazuli. So... I think it's cool though the way they've done the way that he's done this sneaker and the colorway on it obviously the other one i'd probably prefer to have because it's just that more sort of iconic one because it was the first one to release but this one's i think more of the, the wearable one and maybe that might sort of grow on me in, in time but i'm glad to have this pair and to basically i have a, another sort of 990 v6 that i'm wearing at the moment which is the magenta pop colorway and that one feels really nice. I wanted to sort of try out the silhouette before I sort of undi undies these. And but this is a another nice new New Balance 990 V6, and I think they were crushing it last year with this particular pair. But I just don't think the public bought them, and I think it's mainly due to the price. But uh, this one obviously I paid like full price for on, on retail, and it is a collab at the end of the day. So that's kind of what makes up for the extra money you know in terms of like paying 220 for it or 230 whatever the price was but the blues are really nice on this i kind of like the different hues that they've got going on and also normally not a fan of the mesh area being this sort of darker color but it works with this particular pair and it slightly feels sort of more win wintery and the brushy suede is nice as well you can see that as well so it's quite cool and then i like the outsole as well the way that's been designed it's like very thought thoughtful so you have like this blue uh, tint going on on the forefoot area and then the brown hits on the other area I don't know for some reason it shouldn't work like the colorway like because you've got this really dark uh, sort of beige color going on I wouldn't really call it suede because I uh, wouldn't call it uh, sail because it's a lot more darker but the beige hits on here I don't know it just works it shouldn't work but it does work and then you've got this odd purple color here and yeah, it's one of those things that you just look at and you go, no, it's not going to work. And then all of a sudden, it's like, bang, you know, it's, in, you know, it's one of those cool um, trainers. And even the laces as well, that's like a, a really odd colour to put on it, but it just works. It works well. And that kind of gives it almost a trail shoe vibe. So here are the details for the New Balance 990 V6 Action Bronson La Lapis Lazuli. It comes in an Eclipse and Popcorn colorway, so I'm guessing the Eclipse is the blue and the Popcorn is probably the beige midsole color in my opinion. And these have a, a fuel cell uh, technology in there for on, in the midsole, so it enables sort of faster movement from your heel to toe and the end cap uh, dual density midsole uh, it has is, is basically there for mainly for sort of cushioning and impact protection and it also has an endurance outsole and it also is made up of mainly suede and mesh upper and for this one the price was 240. so the comfort in sizing these have i would say a medium sole they feel slightly firmer when you first get them and they sort of tend to sort of soften up so I'd, I'd put them in the medium category and they do have sort of good neutral support around the arch being a modern day runner or lifestyle sneaker and there's no wear in time because of the, the mesh up and I actually think that once you do sort of wear them they do loosen up more more so so and if you've got like a really wide foot I'd go up half a size but pretty much true to size works I, I'd say and these also have really good traction wearing another pair that i have in the, the winter time and they have really good traction and seem to be working well so with the look and style i like the dark colors on this one so having little sort of mainly sort of blue hits all over and just a pop of color from the the beige uh, is, is really nice and i think with these ones you can wear them all seasons i don't think the dirt will show up too much because of the dark colors and because this is a collab i think this one you can sort of dress up casual and smart casual just depends on what you wear and how you wear it but uh they are a cool looking sneaker and like i said because they're dark colors they should match with most things and i'd go with the the laces that come with it but you can also try brown and sail or also yellow as well and the the ones that come with it is more sort of trail vibe where they got their speckly marks on there 
So with the pros, I like the dark colorway. I think it's really nice and uh, really, again, sort of different and unique. And uh, there seems to be a ton of 990 V6s, really nice colorways. And it feels, even though it feels like a big chunky sneaker, it's very lightweight on foot in my opinion. And they feel very, very comfortable. So it's probably the most, or one of the most comfortable sneakers. And it's on par with the 1906R, but they have different levels of comfortability. And these also have really great quality of materials. So the materials used on this is really, really nice. So with the cons, I think the cost, uh, with all these 990 V6s, they're just priced too, way, way, way too high. And it's a mess run at the end of the day. So it should be priced at least at sort of 160, 170 pounds. And they also have a uh, sort of, I noticed sort of loose threading, which is a weird one, and I've noticed it with quite a few 990 V6s. So with the the ratings, I give the look and style a 5 out of 5 for this one. I think it's an awesome looking sneaker and another one of those Action Bronson wins. However, with this one, I think it's probably more wearable versus the other one, but the other one does look cooler. And the comfort, I give it a 5. I think this 990 V6, like I said, they're very, very comfortable on foot and once you sort of wear them in a bit as well they become even more comfortable and it's just that feeling of basically you can wear these all day and not have any issues and the quality i give it a five even though there's sort of loose threading on there it's just the way that new balance have made their sneakers there's no sort of roughness or like awful hardness or anything like that so when i'm sort of wearing a sneaker sometimes i get sort of grazing around sort of the big toe area from other sneakers but with this one nothing whatsoever and it's just the, the new balance way and the pricing I give that a three is just price way way too high for a runner. But overall, I'll still give it a five out of five. I just think they're awesome sneakers, and you can't go wrong with any 990 V6 that you choose really. And this one being a collab is sort of extra special.